Now, you know, if we've been using some little bitty cannons, I think it's time we need to get out the big stuff, don't y'all? <laughs> How about this one? Now, for this demonstration, we know that gravity acts on everything, whether it's moving or not. So I'm going to shoot this cannon at Hank when he's at the top of the gantry. But if I do that, as soon as the cannonball leaves the end of the barrel, gravity's going to start pulling it down. And if Hank's lucky, it'll miss him. It'll go underneath him. So how can we make sure that that doesn't happen and I get to hit Hank? The way we're going to do it is that the moment the cannonball leaves the end of the barrel, we're going to drop Hank. I like this one. Now, to make sure that happens, we have a magnet that's powered by the cannon that, you ready, Hank? No. Yep. It's held in place. And I said that whenever the projectile, the cannonball, left the end of the barrel, it was going to drop him, and this is what's going to happen. When it leaves the end of the barrel, there's a switch that drops him. So, that's the, what we're going to do. So, we're going to put this thing back together. You ready, Hank? Yes. Power's on. And to make sure that this is pointed right at Hank, I have a laser that I'm going to have in the end of the barrel, and we're going to shine it right on his baseball glove. And then we know it's stri pointing straight at him. Okay? And away he goes. Good. A little more. It's uh. Hang on. Okay, that's fine. Okay, Hank, can you all see the laser beam on the back of his glove? Okay, so now we know it's pointed right at him, right? So I'm going to remove the laser pointer. That's out. And the first time I fire the cannon, we're not going to drop him so that you can see what the cannonball looks like as it's flying across the stage, okay? Now, Here we I, go. If I don't drop, he can't hit me because gravity will bend the bullet away from me. Count of three. Me. One, two, three. Okay. Now the next time he fires it, I'm going to fall. And the bend of the bullet and how much I fall are going to match so I get to catch the ball. Now, let's say he shoots it faster this next time. If he shoots the bullet really fast, it gets here so quick that I don't fall very far, but it doesn't bend very much. So I just catch it down here a little bit. If he shoots it slow, it takes a long time to get here. I fall a long ways, but it bends a lot, so I catch it down there by the mat. If gravity didn't even work, I wouldn't fall and the ball wouldn't bend. I'd catch it right here. Nothing can go wrong with this demonstration. Say, Hank, before I shoot the cannon, do you remember the comments you made about my brains coming out of the back of my head? <laughs> I'd like you to think about I, that I as love your you life Dan. passes. I'm going to arm it. Yes. Ready? It's armed. Okay, a little help. On the count of three. One, two, three.